I'd say that should about do it for training. How about we take a lap around the village? Five whole years have passed since you took over for your father. So much has changed in that time. You think so? What's more, the capital's supposedly a real scary place now. Word is, the people slain by monsters and bandits are innumerable. <sighs> so I've heard. It's all so different. I just... I hope your dad's okay. Trust me, you don't need to worry about him. We've been able to turn a blind eye to these atrocities so far. How long until Stahl is attacked? Sorry. Hey, doesn't that look like Miki to you? Miki? Is Miki really 18 already? <laughs> she looks way more mature than I did at her age. I don't know. I've always considered her a little sister. I can only think of her as a kid. Let's see what she's up to. What's going on? I... I thought I saw some people off in the distance. Some people? I assume so. And I was curious since everyone's saying how dangerous things are now. Right there. Whoa! No way! Their suspicions were right. Talk about being fishy. There's no way anyone could mistake them for stallions. What do we do? Do you have any ideas? Let's go to the mayor and think of a plan together. Come on! Oh, I mean, you're okay with letting them go? They'll just run away if we try to capture them. So what's the point? Don't you think it'd be better to prepare for an attack? <laughs> you're the heir to the Camus School of Swordsmanship, all right. You have the commander's instincts of your dad. Pardon me if I find your tale of enemy scouts a little hard to swallow. I'm not lying. So, who is it you think we're dealing with? Adalon. Adalon? You mean those vile bandits who are more monsters than men? In reality, they're a veritable natural disaster. They're so destructive that five years ago, my dad was asked to travel the country. Why? To specifically teach locals how to defend themselves against these degenerates. We're done for! How could we ever hope to do anything against those savages? Mr. Mayor. But this is all too far over my head. I don't know the first thing about fighting. Mr. Mayor! Please, calm down. You're this village's leader. You have to be its proverbial rock. I'll be the one to lead our people in battle. But Fidley! Well, it's not like anyone else is stepping forward. Might as well be him. I beg you, Fidel. Please deliver our home from certain doom. I'll give it everything I've got. Do you think they'll actually attack us?
can't stand this. I'm about to pull my hair out from all this stupid waiting. Really? Why? All the men are thinking the same thing. If no one attacks, then we're the ones that are gonna pay. Still, I'd say that's preferable to getting raided. Think we can hold out? Maybe once at most. Uh, depending on their numbers. Once at most? Yes. Both the men and the village itself would be hurting by the second time. What do we do? We'll ask the capital for reinforcements. Either way, let's not get ahead of They're ourselves. Here. Take the women and kids to the training hall. Gotcha! Fellow townsmen, prepare for battle! Take that! That's where everyone is. Oh, no. I know where you go. No ins, hands, or butts. <laughs> it always gets a lot bigger when we're around. Whatever. Do what you will. That's so sweet. Oh, no. Help! Get away from me! The village lives to see another day. Thank you ever so much for all you've done for us. We may have fended them off for now, but who knows what'll happen next time. Next time? You're saying they might come again? I think so. Please tell me that's not true. So, what's next? If I know you, I take it you have some kind of plan? We'll ask the king for more troops. More troops? A splendid idea. I'll depart at once. I won't be hearing any more of your quips for a while. That make you sad? More like relieved. Damn, you're cold. <laughs> Come back in one piece. I will, and in time, too. Take care of Stahl for me, will you? Done and done.
hope you know I'm coming along. Huh? To the capital, with you. Don't be stupid, Miki. Go on home. Hey, wait a minute. Don't you understand how dangerous it'll be? That's exactly why I'm going. You could barely handle things last night. I could never let you go alone. Don't be selfish. And if I somehow do get in trouble, I know you'll save me from it. Really, Miki? If you won't take me with you, I'll go by myself. Maybe I'll get captured by sleazy bandits. Maybe I'll get attacked by savage beasts. But I'm still going. End of discussion. See if I care. <sighs> okay, you've made your point. Take you with me. Yes! Under the condition that you make sure to stick by my side. Okay.
still room for improvement. improvement. Fireball! 
I wouldn't be here without training.
hook, line, and sinker. me to help. With pleasure. Don't get distracted. Focus on the enemy. Oh, you're going to get away? Thank you enough. 
Thanks for that. Long as you're safe. My name is Victor Oakville. I'm a soldier with the Rasulian army. This is Miki Savister. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Fidel Camus. I teach swordsmanship in the village of Stahl. Camus? I knew it. Those techniques had to be the same as Daryl's. They certainly are. Although, if I had to guess, I'd say your style has also been influenced by him. Did you study under him in the army? Of course I did. How interesting. I never knew my master had a child. It's dangerous around here. Let me escort you to the next town. As representatives of Stahl, we're on our way to ask the king for reinforcements. As for why we're doing that, it's because Adelon recently tried to invade our village. I hate to sound presumptuous, but do you think you could take us to the person in charge of dispatching troops? We share both experience on the battlefield and a relation to the same individual. I'll take you to the capital, but I can't assure you of the outcome. Thank you so very much. Do you think the crown will help us? The timing is far from perfect. But, if Mr. Camus were to put in a good word... What about old man Camus? Master Camus currently works in the capital as an advisor for Rasulia's military, where he teaches the way of the sword. Within the army, his word is law. The old man's really that important now? He is. That is but one reason it would behoove you not to call him an old man in public. Save that for us. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. I'll work on it. Close to perfect as it gets.
to perfect as it gets. This is but a single step. Me, Doc, I take it? That it is. Oh, this light, it's stunning. It's also the gateway to the neighboring country of Langdok. If we weren't on this mission, I'd love to have a more leisurely look around. My duties require that I spend the night in this town. job for you. I'm one step away from just about completing this amazing mixture of mine, but it definitely needs something else. And I know just the stuff. Here are the details. Don't just stand there. Get to work. Chop! You know what to do! done it without you. I knew you'd pull through for me. Yeah, no doubt about it. Keep it up, because I'm counting on you, assistant number one.
Timing. You'll be the perfect guinea pig. Um, food critic. Here, try this delicious juice recipe I've concocted. Don't be shy. It's got the Welch seal of approval, which is the best in the business. See the label? Go on now. Down the hatch with it. when I made it with fruit. Maybe there's a problem in the recipe? That has to be it. Hey, you there. You with all the frills. Congratulations! You're my second assistant. As your first duty, you can improve this juice recipe.
sorry. So sorry. No, it's my fault. <laughs> 